Hey everybody, this is Mad Max again with another raid video. And today we're going to go over Tundra Guild Mallet. Now, she's an overall great champion. I mean, you're not going to find too many champs of her caliber in the game at all. Now, she will sit down and let me let's show you what she does. Her passive, the champ resists, increased by 10 for each stun debuff the champ plays. Up to 100 to a battle. Now the only place she's going to get that probably in Spider's the only place she can get 10 stuns at one time. But it's still, that's a lot of resist. This champion speed increases by 5 for each, each enemy currently under a burn. So it only only counts activate T bur uh burn do both. Stacks up to fifteen. So she can go fit so she can get fifteen stacks at five speed each. That's seventy five more speed. Now she gets that pretty close on spider well, she won't get fifteen stacks, but she'll get she'll get like seven or eight, so she's gonna get like 40 extra speed and spider just because of that. Now, as you'll notice, she's got 22,800 HP. That's really high for an attack character. Her attack is 1608. Her defense is right at 1,000. Her speed is pretty good. It's 100. It's not a great speed, but it's still a good speed. I This is my second legendary champ. I've had her for probably close to a year. And I mean, I haven't really went back and redid her gear like I really should, because she's only got 158 crit damage, got 91 crit rate, she got 282 accuracy. And I mean, you need the accuracy in Doom Tower, and I use her in Doom Tower, and I use her in Doom Tower hard, because like Doom Tower hard, when you get around 450 or so or above, you've got to have around 300 accuracy. I mean, it gets really insane the amount of accuracy you need in Doom Tower hard. But in any other dungeon, you don't need anywhere close to this. I mean, she'll do level 25 Dragon easily. And she does Golem good. I've used her in Golem. I use her in, I use her in Dragon. I've, you know, and she helps you get through those mobs faster. I mean, that's what she does. And then she, let's look at her skills, though. And now... The one everybody uses first is the A3. And it's not actually the hardest hitting one. I mean, it, it's the hardest hitting multiple AOE. But this thing does the stun and the HP burn. Now, what I don't like about this is you use the book just to increase the damage, but there's no decrease in the cooldown. Now, a five turn cooldown is a long time. But she attacks all enemy, has a 70% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Plays an HP burn debuff for two turns on enemy under stun. And places an extra hit on enemies not under stun debuffs. So this is incredibly strong. It's an incredibly strong attack. Now this one, it hits one enemy, but then it hits again. And the second enemy, and the second time it hits all the enemies, but it's only 60% of the damage. And then her A1, she can stun with her A1. And, you know, all you're doing when you book her out for this is increase it up to 60% chance. It hits twice, so she's pretty close to getting a, a stun debuff every time she hits with her A1. Which crowd control is extremely important, especially when you get in the higher ones. The higher dungeons, the higher Doom Tower horrors, you're going to need that. Okay, so the Masteries, you know, she doesn't need, I mean, I, I probably would have went with the, I probably went down the line for the support if I was going with the, with the accuracy part, but I went with the defense, and the defense line keeps her alive a lot longer. And... Then the she has the standard offensive line tree. I mean, everybody usually uses this for clan balls, arenas, whatever. Now, 
her gear, I didn't go with the gear yet, but her gear, I still got the old live steel gear on her because like I said, it's an old champ. And now her gear is, you try to up the crit rate and the crit damage as much as possible. I mean, she's got 91% crit rate, which is pretty good. Her 150 crit damage is not, I really need to put, I've got better gear and I can put it on her. It's just a matter of coins of getting it all back to 60. But now, you know, her speed is 174. I'd like to have it over 200. I'll probably go back and I'll, when I redo her gear, I'll get her more speed, more crit rate, more crit damage. You want speed boots always. You want an attack chest piece. You know, I really want to get her out of this crit rate glove and get the crit rates up under the substats and get her into a crit damage so she'll do even more damage. She has an attack ring, crit damage banners, and then an accuracy banner. Now then, let's just go in and just look at like when we go into Doom Tower with her. And of course, these are all nukers. They're all going to do massive amounts of damage. It's going to be quick. It's going to be easy. But we just want to show you what they do. And she's slow. She's the one that's going to go last. So all these other ones are going to go first. She's not even going to shot in until... Probably until the... We get to the boss itself. And the boss will probably go down in the first round too. So, 30k for that, for Ninja, Ninja's great, 31 to 34k for Jimbo, Jimbo's a, it's just as powerful as Tundra is, if you watch my Tundra video, my Jimbo video, now, I don't want to throw the Eight, I don't want to throw the A2 uh, right away because if he does, he gets the heal because he gets the burn. Now we can watch what Tundra does. Now we'll watch the damage. 71,000 point worth of damage. And that was 65. And Skull Crown's a really hard hitter. And I've got Skull Crown with probably better gear than Tundra. And you know, so Tundra did more damage with her attack than somebody who has much better gear because I've gotten Skull Crown later in the game. And I got her up to 60 and she's really good, but you look, she's got 223 crit damage, 95% crit rate. She's got almost 4,000 attack, which is way better than what Tundra's is. Because Tundra's my old champ that I haven't redone the gear on yet. But still, you know, 4,000 attack is the same, but the crit damage is way less, like 70 points less. And the crit rate is actually 3 or 4% higher on her. But still, Tundra did 20,000 more points worth of damage. I mean, she's really, really strong. Now, if we went into Spider with her, and I don't usually do spider with her anymore because I got Mordecai. But we're just going to go in and show you that she could even help you in spider, even spider 20. Because when we start this up, I'm just going to show you, you know, because Mordecai, spider is really weak to burn. And Tundra does a lot of burn. So when you go in, you know, Fagan's there to drop the defense and weaken. That doubles the damage that the spider's going to receive. And Mordecai's going to burn everything. Now, I'm going to sit down and hit with this attack. And you look, did a hundred and almost 200,000 points worth of damage to the spider. Which will be nothing compared to Coheart. And she drops down the turn meter. Now, Miscreatic creates a big shield for everybody, which is really good. That's just what he does. And Mordecai will die here. He's the wrong color infinity, so he's going to get all the little spiders. And I'm not going to throw the burn because the burns are still up going. 
and they would kill all the little spiders. Where you really want the spiders to sit down and keep burning the mother so that she gets that 3% every time. Every time they take a turn, she's getting 3% of the damage. That's what the burns are for on spiders. Spiders really weak to it, it's really great for it. And I'm still just going to go do this. And see, she decreased the, to act, the turn meter twice. It's only 4%, it's not much. And if the other burns had went off, it probably went. It should probably went down. But now you see, you've got all the little spiders about back up, and we got all these stuns, and we got all these burns going again, all from tundra. So, see the burns went off, and it killed it. So tundra can help you out if you don't have a burner. There's only. There are only two great burners and two really good burners in the game that I know of. And Ultimate Gala does about the same amount of burns that Tundra does. And then the other two are Mordecai and, and an Aidcock. So if you need a burner, she's good for that. But she's good for that crowd control. You see all the stuns that she did? But like the these two guys are the best burners in the game. The Aidcock comes out of your Doom Tower. He's the second one that you get. And he burns everything 100%. And then, of course, you've got Mordecai, but you've got to book him out. But he burns. But his skill for that burn is 100% burn on everything. And it really takes the spider down. He's really great in spider. And then, you know, and so is Acop. Acop, you don't even need to book. Why? He's got 20% chance. And for everything that's live, you get 20 more. And always eight nine ten spiders up so he always gonna he's always gonna as long as the accuracy's there he's always gonna knock out the spider with all that burn but tundra will do the next best burn along with ultimate gala and she's an excellent champ you know, i use her in doom tower i use her in arena i use her in ice golem i've used her in uh Fire Knight at times. Uh, she's not my Fire Knight team now. I've got a little bit better one. But, you know, but she I've used her there that she helps there. I've used her in every dungeon. I've used her, and she's great in her own faction, of course. But all around, she's just a great champ to have. I mean, you're not going to get a champ that, you know, you can, there's not many champs you can just use everywhere. You know, there, it's like Cold Heart. Cold Heart is really great. But she, you know, and you use her in the end game, but the only places you use her are Fire Knight and Spider usually. But her, you can use her anywhere just about, and she'll help your game. And you know, that's, it's one of those rare champs, you know, it's just like she's not restricted to one area. But anyway, guys, that's how you build her. That's what you're looking for and shooting for to get her up. And, you know, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. If you do, poke me a thumbs up. And if you got any comments, anything you want to see, just remember I'm glad to post it.